Dennis is locked up on the bottom. bottom. That's what you call a piece of real estate. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. I think that's the king. Brought the rod oh. hooky. Mm, no rod hookies today. So it's gonna be tough, tough tailing it with rush malts. Oh, look at that shark. Oh, I hope that ain't what I got. Spinner shark. That might have been what Dennis had. Could it be. Welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. Do you remember the show from a couple years ago? We're with Captain Rush Maltz, and we're in Jurassic Park, what he calls it, and there's just fish everywhere. We're all hooked up. We got Captain Dennis Shabalong with us. Did oh, I say that? Shabalong, correct? Shabalong, we got that was it right. the shark. And he's off. As I say, Jurassic Park, we're about 70 miles due west of Key West, right off the dry Tortugas. So y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're gonna be on some fish today, brother. Some big fish. Oh, what could this be? You got tuna on here? Oh yeah, we catch everything out here, bro. <laughs> everything. It ain't called Jurassic Park for nothing. I got a good edge out here. This ain't a good edge? No, this is a good spot, man. Just getting bombarded by blue runners. So thick on the bottom chart is changing depths on us. Yeah, we're all there. We go. I think that could be a kingfish. Grouper. Yellowtail. Could be. Nah. Could be here <laughs> in Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, he ain't fighting like a kingfish now. Yeah. Oh no, what is this one? Oh, I think it might be. Well, that sounds good. That can't be a yellowtail. That's not a yellowtail. Oh, kingfish. It was a two feet critter. Dennis is on. Dennis is on. Jurassic Park coming up, brother. <laughs> Got you in the bottom? No, I'm up. He's wanting the bottom. He ain't gonna get it. Out there, Dennis. Mogan. Mogan. That's, <laughs> that's a big boy there, that's Dennis. Day. What pound test power pro is that? 65. Oh, oh 65 pound test braid. See if you got me down in the bottom. Jurassic Park. Once again. Oh! <laughs> that's a yellowtail. That's a yellowtail. Finally got past the blue runner. Nice. That's a yellowtail. That's a yellowtail. I think that's we breed, we breed them big down here in the south. <laughs> you can't get too too much further south or west, can you? No. Silver. There you go. Uh oh, I think you got my line. Yeah. Uh, there. Uh, wait, hold yours tight. There you go. There you go. Easily good tonight. <laughs> yes, they will. Flagola. These are one of my favorite fish to catch down here. All right, this could be another. This could be another. Look at that flag. Well, those are bigger than the ones last time we got, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought Rush put me on some big flags last time, about two years ago. These here are monsters. This is what you see in every restaurant in Key West. Yellowtail snapper. I was telling y'all about the blue runners. Anybody that knows what a blue runner is, that, <laughs> that's the size of a Jack Crevel in the Indian River there. Incredible. Uh, there we go. I'd like to know where these things are that spinning this drag. You got big zeros here? Yeah, we catch some big zeros here. That's a screamer. <laughs> well, welcome back. Like I said, we're in, uh, Key West, we're about 70 miles west of Key West actually, we got Captain Rush Maltz, and we got uh, Dennis Chabalon along for the ride. He's from Bombardier, he travels around with us all to the tournaments. And uh, we're in what Rush calls Jurassic Park because this place is absolutely incredible. I'm seeing the biggest blue runners in my life. It's, we're actually right off the dry Tortugas in one of Rush's spots that he found and he dives here. 
What else you do here, Rush? Diving here is amazing. I mean, you see everything here, from sharks to giant groupers to uh, huge mutton snappers, dog snappers, African pompano. I mean, it covers the whole spectrum pretty much. Well, that was about five times right there that I just something screaming off and we're, I'm rigged for uh, yellowtail right now. You saw from that big yellowtail from the open, that was a monster. So we're just rigged for yellowtail and I keep snapping off something that is an absolutely toothy critter because you can see that right there. But uh, we're gonna catch a lot of fish today right here in Jurassic Shark. Park. See, the sharks are busting through the blue runners. Sharks That's what's everywhere. Going on. This place is absolutely sharks. incredible. If you ever get the chance to come and rush, hey, this is my second time, second chance to come and rush in two years. So book him early. Give this a try, guys. Oh, you had the rod holder? Yeah. Cow fishing? Oh, yeah. Rodney was holding on to the rig. Rodney didn't set the hook too, too good. You say ever since the hurricane, it's been kind of dirty out here. And what we're talking about, talking about Wilma. Yeah, we've had uh, this pocket of dirty water just lingering around, around us for months now. I mean, Usually where we have this pretty, pretty blue water, yeah. you know, we haven't seen it in a long time. Every once in a while we'll see a little pocket of it, but we haven't seen a, any of it in a long time. And we really depend on that uh, blue water yeah. you know, for our pelagics, like our wahoos and our kings and our tunas and stuff like that. Well, a grouper got to see it too, right? <laughs> grouper got to see it too. They got to be able to see the baits. That's kind of why we're jumping. We're jumping around from place to place. We might be anchored up one second here, and uh, you know, just drift over a couple of spots. That's the edge of the rack right there. Somebody dropped right on it. That's you, Dennis. That's so cool how you can see your line go down on these. Usually on this rack, you got to fight to get past those big amber jacks to get down to the groupers and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh man, they eat you alive a lot. There he is. Get him, Blair. There he is. All right, okay, Dennis. Dennis hooked up, brother. Get him Walk Dennis. back around the motors. If you can. You got a bad angle on him. All the way out. Feel like a grown one? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, come on. Come on, Dennis. Pull us come up. on, Dennis. Pull us up a nice grouper there, Dennis. Come on, Dennis. Come on, this ain't no tournament. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to wreck you. Nice and easy, Dennis. Get him, brother. Get him, brother. Inch by inch. <laughs> Might be a T-Rex. T-Rex, Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, if y'all don't recognize his face, you might see him running around the, uh, the FLW tournament. Dennis does the, uh, he travels all around to the FLWs taking care of anything that anything that might go wrong with an Evan Rooter. And I tell you, every time I see him, he's always doing something else other than working on motors. You got one? Ooh, ooh. Oh, he just got it. Basically, I pull a service trailer and go to bass tournaments, redfish tournaments, and kingfish tournaments. And if anybody breaks anything, I do my best to fix it. But like Blair said, lately, I haven't been doing anything. Spent a lot of time chipping golf balls behind my trailer in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like he's got you a little winded, Dennis. Yeah, he's got me a little winded. Does it hurt? Get the sand out, right? <laughs> I'm hoping to see mono soon, Russ. I'm hoping to see some mono soon, too. I'm hoping to see him start to float. Yeah. You know what that means when they start to float? Big grouper. Big grouper, mutton. If you're wondering why they're talking about they come up and they're easier to float, they start floating. Every 15 feet is a different atmosphere, and there's so much air inside these fish when they're down there, they live down there their whole lives, and you bring them up and that air starts expanding. And once they come up a couple of, you know, a couple of atmospheres, then it just is real easy to get up. Yeah, unfortunately, Blair, I think I'm real, real this one. It's so slow, I think he's equalizing. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Come on. And what's so cool, and one reason why I like to catch what Old Rush called him one time was reef donkeys, 
is that a, uh, and that's an amberjack. And an amberjack can, can take care of his air bladder in and out as he comes up at the top or dives down to the bottom. That's why they can fight so Which good. Which may be the situation here. Yeah, it could be the situation, but we won't know until we start seeing some mono. Is he still fighting? Yeah, he's still fighting, but we got mono. Could be one of those reef donkeys. Reef donkey, reef donkey. He's not really digging too much, though. How much money you got on it? I don't know what I'm There's taking my vitamin way. There's a way. Hold the suspense. Hold the suspense. And it's under the boat so we can't see it. <clears throat> oh, it's a reef donkey. Reef donkey. It's a good one, too. I say it's a reef donkey. Nice one, Ross. Donkey. Uh, Ooh, that, that, that one will hurt you. <sighs> Dennis, I gotta say, better you than me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I hope we cut the line when we see that. How about that one, Dennis? Is that a Jurassic Park, AJ? Yes, it is. Uh, That's a big boy. Ouch. Yes, he are. <clears throat> I want to get my still, Blair. All right. Ooh, <sighs> Here he is. that one will go, Russ? A Jurassic 55. Park. Jurassic Park Reef Donkey. Don't stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more Jurassic Park addictive fishing. Ouch! Come on, get on down, get on down, get on down. I'm bleeding somewhere, so it's gonna be there it is. I'm bleeding, so it's gonna be a good good drop. I always said if I don't bleed at least once a day, ain't a good day. <laughs> Hope I can get it down without it getting AJ'd. Well, here's the scenario, folks. We have gone probably 170 miles. We went to a place that Rush calls Jurassic Park, and the green water killed us today. Absolutely killed us. So on the way back here to Key West, we've been working our way back, working our way back, and working our way back. We finally found the blue water 20 miles outside of Key West, so we're gonna drop down and see what happens. Cobalt blue, as they say. Beautiful here. There, there he is. is. There, there he is. The Jackman. Reef donkey on, boy. Reef donkey on. We call him Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> Did he even make it at the bottom? Yeah, I was on the bottom. This could be uh, grouperish. Could be the mutton. Because mutton, the mutton, leaves mutton. Doubled up. Doubled up. Get him, Rush. What you got, Rush? Oh, I can't get a paint no more. Russ got him a donkey. Well, I can tell you all the bait stand right next to the boat. Yeah. Because it knows something's down there. What you got, Rush? Oh, I think I have a donkey. Well, Dennis is off. I'm back. Rush is still hooked up. Uh-oh. Blair is going to be hooked up directly. Come on, come on. I'm trying to get him up real fast so I can get back down there and try and get a grouper. We can get I, think I'm, I made it past the AJs. If we can get past these jacks, we might have a shot. Here we go. Hey, show them. Blair's hooked up. Mm, finally. And it feels good. Even though at the end of the day, this one's going to hurt. Ugh. There you go, brother. This might be in the grouper type. Shaking his head or no? Nope. Good deal. What pound test power pro you got on here? 80. Rush. 80? <sighs> With six out of shark. shark. We got yep. shark on the <sighs> Chasing that blue runner. <sighs> Back. The runner? Is that the one we just yeah, put in the water? Runner we just threw in the water. Uh, there's a head shake. Not good. Not good. You got that rush? A reef donkey. How big is it? About 20 pounds. This is baby. <sighs> Nothing like the one you caught. I'm still feeling it. That's a good way to end the day. <sighs> Stretching out the old muscles. He's coming up easier now. This could be a that grouper. Could be a butt. He just float? He looks like he's floating. Yeah. Good job, Blair. Could be the man. Could be the savior. Could be the savior for dinner. <laughs> Somebody's gotta eat. 
I got color and a shark eating on him. Oh, he got light. Was a donkey. Not so much left. Well, that's what happens when you got a shark that comes up and eats your bait. I mean, that eats your. Nice AJ, huh? Make it past the old, uh, oh, that does look sweet on the, on the fish finder. You can show this one. This is the sub wreck, huh? Yeah. This one's on about every chart out there. Yeah. Old reliable. There we go. Fish on. Get him, Brian Flair. I hear a lot of grunting and groaning going on over there. Dig him. I get him up without having that shark eat him. No, I said, hope I can get him up without having that shark eat him. Man, it's hard to talk and fight these big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Especially at the end of the day. Is this a spot you normally just take people and just wreck them? When they say they want to catch a big <sighs> fish, they want something to pull, <sighs> this is where we come. One big one will definitely <laughs> put the strain on your back. And you don't have to be all that big. A 20 pounder will put a hurt oh, on yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> totally. What a great fish, too. <sighs> I have people who charter me and just love to catch them though. You get them teased Kids. up on fly and everything else here, can't you? We catch them on fly, we catch them on plugs. I'm here catching them on a jig. Looky here, looky here. Blair got him a grouper. Nice, Blair. That's and it what looks, we've been looking for. And it looks like a keeper. Oh. Black grouper. And that's a black one, huh? That's a black grouper, Blair. A black grouper. Good job, now, my how, man. How can you tell the difference between a black and a gray and a gag and well, see how the black, this is actually a carburetor. See the orange spots on his face? Yeah. Which is extremely similar to a black. See the bars yeah. and everything? I know, I could. The black it. tail. Now, when these get big, 40, 50 pounds, this becomes a paintbrush. This will be white. You'll see these bars, and this will be like a black paintbrush. I can just dip it in the paint can. Well, that's a beautiful fish. That is a pretty one. Is that a keeper size? That is keeper. That's a sandwich? That's sa that's dinner. That's dinner? That's dinner. Where are we gonna have, go have you, Matt? Let's go to the Hickory House, the Conk Farm. One of those places, they do a great job of cooking your catch. Well, we can do that. We got a couple of nice yellow tails. Oh, Dennis, thank you very much for coming out with us today. Thanks for having me. Good time today. Captain Rush, as always, it took us a while to find him, find that green water. Or should I say, get out of that green get water. Get out of that green water. But uh, we found the blue water and we caught some fish. If y'all ever want to give us a shot, don't forget the website, addictivefishing.com. Look up Captain Rush here. He'll put you on the fish 70 miles west of Key West or even 20 miles outside of Key West. He'll find them for you. They're there. <laughs> we'll see you next week. A little baby reef donkey. What do you call these? A little jackass? <laughs>